Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about the glucose ketone index, what it is, how to calculate it, and why it's important. So the glucose ketone index is actually just a snapshot of the ratio between your ketones versus your blood glucose. Let me go into that a little further. You see, if your ketones are high, but so is your blood glucose, you're basically spinning your wheels. You're not really getting anything accomplished. The ratio really gives you a good idea of what your true metabolic health is and how your body is really responding to the macronutrients that you're providing it. To calculate your glucose ketone index, take your blood glucose number divided by 18 and then take that number and divide it by your ketone levels. The answer you get is your GKI. Now take that number and take a look at the chart. The 1.6 GKI in this situation would be a very high level of ketosis. This high level of ketosis is typically for uh, disease fighting and neurological, um, but it's not for weight loss necessarily. Three to six is really ideal, especially if you are somebody who's dealing with a significant amount of weight gain or you're pre-diabetic, etc. Six to nine is effective for general weight loss and maintenance, but I'd really like you to strive to be within the three to six range. I think that is a good range for most people who are trying to lose weight. So I have my ketone monitor here, and just a couple of minutes ago, I tested my own numbers just to give you an idea how, how the calculation works. Um, so I have my monitor and I have two different strips, one for glucose, one for ketones. My glucose was 76 and my ketones were 1.0. So 76 divided by 18, divided by 1.0 equal 4.2. So as you can see, I'm right where I need to be on that chart. I also want to point out how important it is not to chase ketones. Really, you really need to look at the relationship between the two numbers. If your blood glucose is low or your GKI score is within an acceptable range, then there's no need to try to consume a bunch of fats or take exogenous sources of ketones to get that ketone level higher. In fact, Initially, sometimes people will find their numbers are much higher in terms of ketones. Why that is, is because your cellular changes haven't really taken place yet, so your body is not really utilizing those ketones as it should, driving those numbers higher. As your cells begin to change and the mitochondria actually gets used to using ketones as energy, your ketone levels will actually drop, but so will your blood glucose. So your GKI ratio will still be very effective. So if you wanna get a real accurate picture of how your body is responding to the ketogenic diet and the types of foods you are eating, I strongly recommend taking that simple calculation and looking at both blood glucose and ketones and their relationship and not chasing ketones alone.